going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with us today as we play some Satisfactory. We're going to be showing you a couple of things. One of those things specifically is going to be how to assembly line like a pro. We're going to be hanging out. You're going to be hanging out with me, Bill Nick the Science Dick. That's right. We're going to be going over some crazy stuff here today, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Now, if you've been following along on the series thus far, we have reached a point where we more or less have a base. So we've kind of been rushing to this spot in the game where we have a, a base to actually start to get things nice OCD friendly and to the point where we could do some crazy assembly. Now we've rushed to this, we've left a lot of the more or less progression stuff out. So if you're looking on directions, looking for or looking to get directions on how to actually uh, build your own factory, now is the perfect time for you to start following in on the series. So welcome to the channel guys, I am Nick, this is Nerd Parade. And we live stream all these episodes, so if you haven't done so yet, please be sure to follow us on twitch.tv slash nerdparade. And if you'd like to support, you can always check out the Nerd Parade Patreon, both in the link of the description, or you can get it from the Twitch chat. Anywho's, let's start this off super nice and super right. So I'm down here, we're going to be showing you how to assembly line like a pro. I'm down here at the base where they're, uh, the bottom of the base where there's the resources. We're going to be feng shuiing and tearing a lot of this stuff up. We have built these pillars. These pillars have our resource transportation. So it's completely hidden. It's going up through here. I'll show you at the top. And it's going over to be delivered at my main base. So this is one such pillar. And currently it has just iron being delivered. So we're going to go check that out here as soon as I get over to the rampway. And we're going to run all the way up and go over that cool stuff. Now, uh... With this, it gives me the prime opportunity to really get into the assembly lining and how to do it in a very efficient, just simply assembly line like a pro. So I'm really actually excited to show you this uh, today, guys. So if at any point it helps you out, please be sure to let me know, because I think that's what a lot of you guys out there are looking for in the status of factories. Twitch chat is popping off already. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang with me today. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Thank you for coming to play Satisfactory with me. So before we get into the actual assembly lining, we've got a subscribe. Lightweight, thank you for subscribing. Increasing my power level over the 9,000 Super Saiyan Blue Nick over here. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, this is our transportation. Now this is extremely OCD friendly. All of it is built exactly kind of how it should be. It's it's duplicated on the other side, completely on the other side. If you've been following the series so far, you know we have four pillars. And this runs boop, 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 through here. Now, we could split this with splitters later on, but for right now, for the beginning part, we have iron ingots. I'll go over to this side to show you. Uh, oh, you can see it just, just barely. Iron ingots running through here to this point right here. Now, this is our start-off point. A lot of this was uh, constructed by mine earlier, but it was slightly OCD unfriendly, so I broke it all down. I destroyed it all last night because it was bothering me at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, screw this crap. It's getting all broken down. We're tearing it down, and we're going to rebuild it. So that's what we're doing here now, and everything is going to make a perfect line. No angles, no dips, nothing like that. And I'm going to show you how to build it for yourself. we got to subscribe again, Panda. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. I hope you have a fantastic one. Thank you for coming to participate in the status of factories. So this is our model. This is our base model. This is our duplicate. Or this is the thing that we're going to duplicate throughout the entire factory. And instead of building kind of like a row, well, we did kind of build a row, but it's more horizontal instead of vertical. Like, say, for example, in our last playthrough of Satisfactory, we'll we built all of our assembly lines going uh, this away. But we ran it uh, this away this time. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can feng shui it however you want it. This just feels a little bit cleaner to us, so we ran it this way. Any hoozle. You'll notice how we have everything so nice and neat compacted up here and we've got our full foundations our floors with our half z's now what we're going to do with the half z's is exactly what you see over here we're going to drop a half z's down we're going to stick our uh, a constructator on it and we're going to continue to build along the way so when we get to that next row which is likely going to be concrete uh, i think we'll get into the actual build process but since this is already produced for us we're going to build off of this now we're going to start from on top of this splitter if i can manage to get up this ladder okay we're going to start from up here just because it's a better vantage point. And I'm going to work my way down with scaffolding. So this is a half foundation scaffolding. And we're going to go, we got to go all the way down. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. And the reason why we're doing this is so that we can snap our splitter. 
and that it is elevated and even. So that first one was actually dropped on one of these half seas, and then the half sea was taken away. With a lot of the stuff that you see when we build here, our factory, and definitely within the uh, the Nerd Parade factories, a lot of this stuff uses scaffolding. And what I mean by scaffolding is very simply a temporary platform that will just pull out. What's going on, buddy? Thank you so much. Thank you for coming to hang with me. Twitch chat is popping off even more. So I'm going to put a splitter on my hotbar. We're going to go into our, uh, not that thing. Where is it? Logistics. There we go. I always mess that up. Uh, we'll put you on five for now because we're going to be using a lot of you. And with this, we are going to make sure that's all lined up. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. That's what we want. It's dead center, and the line is very short, as you can see, and it's connected. So now that that's boom, done, we'll just pop out the uh, the half -sea foundation, and you can see that one line of iron ingots is being smelted at the source, and then brought up to here through these elevators, through the leg, completely hidden. We're going to seal this off with walls, which I can kind of do now that I've already, I left it open so I could show you. So this is what the leg's going to look like. It's going to be a, a sealed off pillar. We're going to have an entry points and access points. This is duplicated on the other side of the leg. So these beams, or I'm sorry, these uh, conveyor belts, there we go, we got there, run all the way down this hallway, and we've got the buffer window. Now, we've been building up to this point in the, in the series thus far. We finally got into a point where we could do some crazy, crazy build stuff. So I'm walking you through in more of an instructional how-to stream here today, a stream of so. So I hope you're ready for it. Now, iron goes here, makes its first curve off. Instead of curving that, we can continue the line down if we need to with a splitter. But for now, what we're doing is just curving it off. Uh, we have plenty of other inputs that we can run more iron to. And we have it, again, like I mentioned before, duplicated on that side, which I'll show you now. We're going to work our way over to there. I'll continue building this in just a second. We're going to squirrel off for a brief moment and go to the complete opposite side because I have one splitter on each side to show you how we've got everything mirrored. So that is, this is all plates. This production is all plates. That storage unit is already full. This production is all bars. So our completed product is going to be running through the center of our factory. Completed products come from the edges and meet in the center. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna take this product, this completed product, and vertically move it up to the next floor where we do next tier uh, type of progression. So it's really going to look pretty wild once it's done for OCD friendliness, but I'm going to show you how we make our uh, assembly lines and we're going to do it like professionals. Now I got my Blade Runners on, so I'm running as absolutely fast, fast as possible. Dark, my dude, thank you so much for the bits. Hello, my friend. Thank you for coming to hang out. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. I hope you're excited for some satisfactory. This satisfactory stream is going to be very satisfying because everything is going to be OCD, symmetrical, and beautiful. Now, I mentioned before that the other, this other side is duplicated, looks exactly like the side that we have on the other end, and it also has its own iron. So we have iron coming from both ends, meeting in the center. Pooh Bear, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for being part of the live stream. Thank you for being part of the Nerd Parade Army. Thank you for coming to hang out with us tonight, and we're doing some satisfactory delight type things. Tried to rhyme it. Wasn't perfect, but it worked. We got another subscribe. Subscribes are popping off like crazy. Philip, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Hello, nice to see you again. It's uh, uh, well with you and Karen. Everything is well with Karen and I. Thank you so much for asking. We actually just picked up our two little baby kitties today. They had surgery. They had to have their uh, spay and neuter. So we got that taken care of today. We just picked them up and they're awfully sleepy. So Karen's downstairs with them right now uh, doing baby kitty sleepy snuggle time. It's... Uh, not gonna lie to her, I'm a little jealous. But I was snuggling with them before I'm like, it's time to go to work. And that's what we're doing now. We're, we're doing our work job. So we're gonna split this with the splitter. We're gonna rotate it so that the input is following the other one, obviously. The orange line is the input. The teal or green line is the output. It splits it into a direction. And I'm gonna try to do this in a manner that's pretty educational and basically explained like you don't know what the hell is going on in Satisfactory. Maybe you've never played it before, maybe you're looking at playing it and you wanna do some really crazy cool builds. I'm gonna try to make it as user-friendly and easy as possible. So, oh shit snacks, I didn't wanna do that. Now I gotta fix this. So, you gotta be careful with the half seas foundations because you can do that. 
you could put a foundation within a foundation. It's foundationception, and if you're like me, it'll annoy the piss out of you. If you're not like me, then you got nothing to worry about. So this, make sure you've got the lines. You want the big, solid teal or green line. You want to make sure your orange line is facing your last splitter. Mm -hmm. And then you connect it. So this one line of iron is coming off of a pure node, so it's being smelted at the source, and it's supplying all of our constructor rotators. And then there's another one on that end, supplying all those constructor rotators, and it's putting out iron rods very, very quickly. It's already backed up because the storage unit is already full. Uh, we haven't expanded on it and got it moving to another place within the factory, but we will. This is just the start. Now, if you've been keeping up with us though, so far, I did let the factory run for a little while, but that's our total time into this world. Uh, I did let this go overnight last night, so we built up a lot of stuff for research and uh, that kind of thing. So total playtime, I think we're looking around maybe six or seven hours so far into it. So we're still pretty fresh. We're still pretty new in our world. And we've got a lot of things to do. A lot of things for building. And this should prove rather educational. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to do that. That was an extra one. I didn't want to bring that one out. I got the, uh, I got the blindness, the factory build and blindness. All right, so that is our assembly line of amazingness. It is all lined up. It is super OCD friendly, and honestly, it just looks good. It just looks really good. It all functions in one solid line, and I, I love it. I'm super excited for it. Everything has its own power pull. Each uh, constructor has its own power pole. That's overkill. You don't need to do it that way. But I think it looks good, and there is no such thing as overkill in the Nerf vocabulary. So we go big. We always go big. I'm going to put down these foundations as we continue to do our build-along. Disney has sing-alongs. Nerd Parade has build-alongs. And now we're going to finally get into a lot of the how to we stuff. And if you're just now joining us in the stream, I had mentioned a little bit earlier in the beginning... How we did a lot of rushing in this series. This isn't our first time playing through Satisfactory, so we did a lot of rushing for research in the beginning. We tried to get to uh, Mark III belts and uh, uh, the nicer type of things in the game as quickly as possible. And we still are actually doing that. We're rushing our research until we can cap it out. Once we get that capped out, that's when we're going to go really ham and start building the base super crazy. So this is just going to be Tier 1 of the base and our current research facility which i use that term very loosely is all in a mess downstairs below us it looks like absolute garbage and that will all be going away none of that is permanent so now that we're finally working towards the permanent structures in our factory oh i need to keep that uh we are going to be doing more of this how to stuff and show you guys how we're doing some professional level factorying okay now i can kill that one Ooh, I thought I overjumped that. Nice. Capital Air Control. Okay, another one here. And just keep in mind, be cognizant of this when you're building it. Make sure the lines obviously line up. And make sure your splitter, the orange arrows, you can see it. I'll move it here. You see the orange arrows. That's the input. Orange is input. And the uh, teal or aqua or green or whatever you want to call it. Green, teal, cyan. I, it doesn't matter. The green ones are the branching out now it's reversed with a merger it's one and then one green and four or three uh yeah you get where i'm going with this it's flipped <laughs> so just be cognizant of where your arrows are pointing when you're building your stuff because you can run into a lot of logic errors so to speak whenever you're doing that so we're getting our iron rods back up and running with this side, and that means we can destroy that crap downstairs at the bottom once this is up and running. That's the big goal. Feng Shuang and cleaning. Now, this is what I tend to call the non-content worthy stuff. This is where things are way more enjoyable as a live stream. Because as I do these more repetitive tasks, I can hang out with you guys here in chat. We could talk about some satisfactory stuff. We could talk about anything, anything that you may want, and I can interact with you guys. This is why I feel like satisfactory functions 
better as a live stream type of uh, type of game. However, that doesn't mean I'm going to ignore the tubes of views. We're going to continue to do what we're doing because we're always trying to make everybody happy. We get requests for videos on the tubes of views to do satisfactory, and we're going to be doing both. So we're going to be live streaming everything and then formatting that, formatting that shit down to about 45 minutes to an hour long episodes. So you guys on the tubes of views that may not get the opportunity to catch a live stream or watch us uh, or have the time or whatever can watch at your leisure on the tubes of views after the fact. But if you've been with us, if you've been with us so far for the build up, you know more or less how this goes. So I'm gonna keep the uh, explanation of how we do stuff to a minimum, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you're here for. Is checking out some cool fat, fat effector stuff. If only I could words properly, but alas, I can't. My brain has not that evol is not that evolved. We've got a subscribe. Reese, thank you so much for subscribing. You've gifted a sub. Thank you very much for doing that. You're a scholar and a gentleman. You gifted a sub to your friend. Welcome, new nerd Prater. Thank you so much. Reese, thank you so much for coming to hang out. I saw mine has just joined the game, popped up right above me. I bet that guy's going to run around and do some research for us. I told him what, what I was going to do here. That I was going to be doing like a bit of an instructional stream episode to show you how we conveyor and assembly line like pros because a lot of this stuff has been skipped over glossed over in the beginning for our rushing to tears and because it's all downstairs and ugly now that downstairs and ugly stuff is something that i'm not concerned about at all because it's going away it's not part of our actual base this is the beginning of our actual base this is what i'm excited for so now now that this is done this is all the input uh Luckily, I think the output is... Oh, no, it's not. The output is not good. So this is why this was done, and I broke it all down. And I'll show you why. Now, I could leave this alone. But if I do, it's going to claw up my mind, and it's going to make me hate myself. But you'll if you, if you notice it, tell me. I'm going to give you a second. It's, it's quiz time. It's quiz time. Do, 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 this do, particular do, chord do, space. Do, do, do. Okay, that's plenty of time looking at that. And now we're going to look at this side. Okay. So what do you notice that's different? Okay. If you answered it's slightly off, non-centered, you would be correct. You'd be absolutely correct. This was built exactly like this. And I saw it. I caught it out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, wait. So I went through and I had to break it all down. So what we're going to do is end up breaking this all down. And I can show you the, the exit points. So what we're going to be doing is literally the exact same thing what we just did, only with the mergers. And that will be our assembly line of OCD beautifulness. And if you are interested in duplicating it for yourself in your factory, we're guiding you through that process right now. Now this is tier one. This is the beginning. This is where everything starts. This is iron rods and plates. Now, the reason why we're doing this, we're starting from the bottom, so to speak, and working our way up for the production in our base is because that's how it needs to go. Now, I'm going to be duplicating this exact procedure on this row right here. And what I think I'm going to put is the thing that we need the most of next. Now, it's going to be the same here and the same down there. It's going to be two of the exact same thing. And if you, I'll give you a second to guess what it might be. I'll give you a time. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's enough quiz time. If you guess the second most important thing that we're going to need to build the base is concrete, then you would be 100% correct. We're going to have concrete going down that row and then down this row. And again, mirroring and mimicking exactly what we currently have to these guys, these uh, double-tiered storage facilities. And we're going to stick them right here at the end. Boom, boom. And we can come and collect all the concrete that we need, and we're going to stack it and put it through the roof for the next tier. So we're future-proofing our base and making sure that it's OCD-friendly and even. So what I'm going to do here, let's go to production. I'm sorry, that's not it. Uh, I always mess this up. Organization. So we got an industrial storage unit, and we're going to basically stack them. Stack and connect them once we get to that stage. Going to put another one right here, boop, and another one right there when we get to that stage as well. And then we have an infinite supply of our iron rods and iron plates. And then with the elevators, the fancy new elevators, we're going to move that stuff through uh, 
the ceiling onto our next floor where it's going to be tier two production. So this being tier one, the simplest of things is going to be moved up to tier two. At this row, we're likely going to do things like copper wire, probably down the same through here and down the same through there. Copper wire is going to likely be a, a, a big contender. It's going to take a while to build, but we're going to get there. Any of the uh, lesser tiered things. And then we have a ton of room for activities in the back to basically do anything and everything that we want. All of those resources are going to be hidden by our barrier walls coming through here. And there's two barrier, two foundation wide barrier surrounding the entire base in a big square. And that's more or less how it's going to work. But back to the original project at hand. We're going to get rid of our smell elevator for now. You know what? I'll get rid of my uh, other thing for now. I like having the smell elevator on there. We want a splitter. So we're going to put our splitter on four. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll do that. Four is splitter. Five is merger. All right, let's get back onto the ladder up top here. If I can climb it. Oh, I went to the wrong side. Hang on. Zip. We got to get onto our ladder. We need the bird's eye view. We need the Assassin's Creed eagle eye here. So we've got five, which is my merger. And what we're going to do is take a merger input and make sure that the line is not only in the center. And now it is. It's in the center. And it's moving to the left. So this is literally directly in the center of the foundation. That is exactly what we want. Connect. And then we'll move out to the next one. So now that we've got that, let's do five and duplicate our build. Okay, so uh, make sure that's lining up. It is perfect. It's moving to the left. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay, there we go. And now we're moving the rods down for the output. See, it was just slightly off. It was just ever so slightly off. Just enough to bother you if you have OCD when in your building, just like me. Now, I don't have crazy OCD in, in real life. Uh, I mean, I have some things, like my closet needs to be really organized. Uh, my office and desk needs to be really organized, but that's not it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not plagued by it. But when it comes to gaming, oh, don't wanna break that one yet. I have severe building, like OCD. I'll break stuff down, I'll redo it if it doesn't line up perfectly. And it's just pretty much, uh, isolated to gaming now if you're like me and you have that if you suffer from that same same trait then never fear nerd parade is here we got your back we're going to teach you how to do all the crazy things we're going to teach you how to build big or go home and if you don't know how to get home we're going to help you google it because google maps will help you okay there we go and i'm gonna try to Ooh, i took too big of a jump i was just supposed to just supposed to tap just tap it just tap tap it in happy gilmore tap it on in tap 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 a room and I uh, smashed the space bar. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna try to get this going a little bit quicker. Since it's a little repetitive, we're gonna continue to talk about more. More stuff, we got another subscriber! Merv, thank you so much for subscribing, Merv. I hope this live stream is helping you with the satisfactory stuffs. I thank you for being here with me, I thank you for coming to hang. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Now, when I'm building this into the splitter, you'll notice that I'm not taking the the belt from the splitter from the merger to the constructor. I'm taking it the other way. That's just out of habit. I don't know if it still does that in the game, but it used to be that the belt would run in the direction that you built it uh, in very very beginning parts of Satisfactory. I haven't tested it honestly uh, since the beginning of parts. I still continue to build it like it used to be. That may have been fixed. It may respect the game's logic and travel the way it needs to go. I just never bothered to retest it. So in case you're asking yourself, why aren't you just quickly doing whatever? It's because I'm used to building in the way that it's supposed to move. Now, if it still does function that way, then hey, guess what? Great. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I've just not bothered to test it if it's still the same way. And we're breaking it all down. See, we, I mean, we built really, really big. And we will always build really, really big. That's one thing that I always love. Nope, I just about did what I was talking about. That's one thing I love about our, uh, <laughs> our community, the Nerd Parade community. And if you guys want to join the Nerd Parade community, it is open to anybody and everybody. If you are here in the Twitch chat, it's exclamation mark Discord. If you are in the tubes of yubes watching this video after the fact, check out the video, the link in the video description for the Nerd Parade Discord. Everybody's welcome. Let's come hang out with us. 
Eh, there we go. Okay, assembly lining like pros. This is how we do it. Is there a story or an end game? Uh, so far, there is a small story to the game, to Satisfactory. And that's that small story is that you, and uh, if you so choose to play with friends, a small crew, the game is best enjoyed, in my opinion, with a small crew. No more than four. And you and this small crew have been dispatched to this planet. And there are three different biomes on this planet. And your job is to essentially collect resources and not really terraform, but build a, a, a factory and to which production of specific things for the Fixit Corporation uh, can be can be made. So you are using this planet's resources to create things for the Fixit Corporation. You're a pioneer and you're coming to this planet and your job is to make an efficient factory and research things and have fun. That's usually the general mission. I, par I tried to paraphrase that. I tried to Reader's Digest that as best as I could. Did I make that too long? Nope. Perfect. Yeah, I tried to Reader's Digest version that as best that I could, but obviously if you play the game and you listen to Ada, she's actually quite amusing. We did listen to her a lot the uh, first playthrough. And she talks about random things. She's like, congratulations, you're one of the first people that survived Planet Fall. And you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, good. All of my predecessors have died. Well, that's Employee of the Month worthy. Highly amusing. The game doesn't take itself too seriously, which is really nice. Okay, lots of scaffolding being used. You could leave the scaffolding if you wish. You don't have to take it out. I take it out because I actually like the look of it without more than I do with. And if you decide to leave it in, that's one less step that you have to go through when uh, duplicating this build. Is instead of, at the end, effing that little half platform, you just move right along. But the half platforms, or any platform for that matter, are widely used in all of our builds. samples are required because of the snapping. So platforms give you snap points, which make building very, very friendly. So say, for example, what I mean by that is, so this is, this. Uh, well, I have foundations there. This is kind of more or less free build. But when you get to here, you'll notice that it's snapping to parts of the foundation. Now, it's not really going to let me free build because everything is surrounded by foundations here. So I'm like, this would be more free build wiggling around crazy, but if you're trying to place this on the ground, for example, where there's no foundation, you would know what I mean by free build. It can just go anywhere. But here, you're locked into, like, very rigid movements, and that's good. That's what we want. We want to be locked into rigid movements because it means everything can line up so much easier. And we like that. We like making things easier. So we've got one more to go here. And then we're going to connect this to our storage device. Now, our standard storage device... Oh, no, I'm sorry. We have one one more. Our standard storage device is the two, two high storage now. Used to be this thing only had one entrance and one output. So, it was like the exact same thing as the tier one storage unit uh, stacked on top of each other. But now, with the update, it has two entrances and two exits, which makes this thing invaluably more useful. It's, it's super awesome. So, that's all we'll use now. You'll notice that that's all we'll use now. Okay, boom. Done. Fantastic. Now I can enter this guy. And we'll loop it up. We'll make it an upwards line just to look a little nicer. Instead of going down, it like loops up into here. And we can keep this clear for any type of other entrances that may need to be put into it. Or, you know, whatever. What have you. It's got two. We can leave one open. And we'll do... I'll just go ahead and drop another one on this. We'll do a second one, so we'll likely swap it, like so. Now we'll connect it. Like so. And now that's going in. And then when it's time to move those rods up, 
So we can take it out. We can move it to something else if we need to. But likely most of this production is going to take place on the next tier on the second floor. So what we're going to do here is put one there and then blip. See, we can elevator it through and past floor number two. That's the, uh, that's the idea behind that. So now this is all OCD friendly and corrected. We can work on plates. Now plates is identical. It's exact same thing as what we're doing over there. And this one was moved out just a fart fraction of a snap point too much. And we're going to fix it. We're going to make it all perfectly even. Now, in order to break up the monotony here, I'm not going to jump right onto this one. We're going to do something a little bit different. And I'm going to try to build one from scratch for you guys. But before we do that, let's see, let's check out my inventory. Good, my inventory is fine. Before we do that, we're going to turn on my flashlight because it's starting to get dark. And we're going to run down to where our resources come from. This is going to be a big project, what I'm undertaking right now. This is... Uh, let me go to the ramp, actually. So this is this might take me a little while. This is a bigger project, and it's going to be snapped perfectly OCD-friendly with the actual factory. It's going to be the permanent part of the factory. This is what I was talking about, the mess. If you haven't seen it before, if you're just now joining us for the live stream, you never caught a live stream or so before, this is the mess. This is just to get us to this. This is the base. This will all be going away, and it'll be moved in a more OCD-friendly fashion, up to the top. So this is all just temporary stuff. This is what we were rushing in the beginning. We we're trying to get out of this as quickly as possible. Now that we have the opportunity to get out of it, we're gonna do it in style. And I don't wanna break the lines of things too much, but I might end up breaking the lines of things a little bit. One thing that I think is being automatically produced that I'm probably going to be breaking is steel encased beams. Now, we're not at the steel encased beams tier up at our base yet, but we are definitely at the steel encased beams tier down here at the factory. What I want to do, and what I'm starting to do, is this. We'll go ahead and break you down. Wait for that to clear. Okay, it's cleared. Now, here's where things get a little tricky and interesting. This is more or less scaffolding. This is snapped to the pillar which is snapped to the base. This is important. Pay close attention. Pillar is snapped to the base. So we're essentially extending the base. Now, in order to do that, uh, I think I can still build this. I think I might still be able to get that snap. It might be a little high. We'll find out, but I think I might be able to get that snap. I'm killing, I'm going to kill this stuff. We're going to start running the concrete up into the base. So let's give ourselves a minor mark two, and we should get the snap. No, it's too high. There is a little trick that you can do to make it oh super OCD friendly and nice, but it's gonna require me to do that. So I can't completely hide it with foundations, but I don't need to. What the important thing is, and what I'm trying to sell here, is that it needs to be snapped to the main base. That's what I want. I want all the snap points to mimic and be attached to main base. So we're not placing the foundations here for aesthetics. We're placing the foundations here for, there we go, for snap points. Now we can fire this off in any direction. In fact, why don't we get a better, better bird's eye view of this and make sure it's right angled? Is that right angled? You know, that might actually... Nope, that's slightly not right angled. It's close. Really close. Almost imperceptibly close. We'll, we'll run with it. Okay, so we've got this. This is our temporary power for this sucker. No biggie. So this is going to be concrete production that actually looks pretty even it's almost imperceptibly even so i'm gonna roll with it. what we're gonna do is build ourselves a little more scaffolding because we're ha gonna have to go out with it so we're gonna snap some more 
snap it there. Okay, and then we'll run our concrete down through here with smelters. How am I going to like this? We got a terraform, just a touch. And what I be my, mean by terraform is I'm giving myself a proper place to place my constructors. That's probably pretty proper. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave that. And... We could do something kind of funky now. Okay, so let's check. How many constructor rotators do we have over here? We have a lot. We have oh so many. And these were all making concrete. With a single solitary output. I would like to duplicate something like that as best as I can. But why we're moving it from this area over here is a very vanity-based reason. So I want to make sure that this thing, this concrete production, is snapped onto the main main tier of the base. That's important thing number one. Important thing number two. It needs to be able to go into that centralized input right there. So I'm going to change how I do things a little bit. I'm giving myself more space. I'm terraforming even more. Okay, now I've I've uh, sanctioned off this entire gap. This should do just fine. So what I want to do here is use my handy dandy elevator. Do 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 to do something along those lines. Okay, great. Now. Since this is going to be kind of turdy, I'm trying to paint the picture in my own head before we actually put it down. So with this one, everything was run kind of in a horizontal line. What I'm going to do is duplicate this as best as possible. Even though, even though this isn't part of the main factory, it is something important that I want to try to keep lined up and even and looking nice. but it's off kilter, which bothers my OCD building. So let's see if we can rectify that. That is almost in the center. And you know how we tell? Oh, just like a fraction of not being in the center. I don't think I'm going to get it. It's not going to be perfect. So, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to do something different to make it perfect. My original idea can work. This is part of the process. This is the thing that I go through to try to make sure that our factory looks nice. Now, this is the game in hard mode. This is an extra step. You don't need to do this if you don't care about aesthetics. For me, aesthetics is like one of my number one driving factors. That's maybe going to be too steep. It, oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, it's super, super, super too steep. Aesthetics is one of my main driving factors. I want the factory to look absolutely amazing. So I will break down and rebuild over and over and over again until something lines up absolutely perfectly and I'm happy with it. Uh, so if we're going to run you like so, we're going to kill you. I think I just got mine trolled. <laughs> Mine's in here. He's running around. He's hanging out with me. He's doing stuff. Uh, but he... he. Oh, yeah. He's de that's definitely him. 
We want to do that. We want to angle it ever so slightly. There's nothing we could do to get away from this. That is always going to be slightly off kilter. But now it is perfectly aligned with the foundation here. Bum, 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 and that's what we want. So we'll use seven since it's already on the hot bar. This is the triple. So we're going to take the triple. And now we have it perfectly dead center here. It's dead center in the foundation. That's good. That's fine. We're happy about that. We like that. We can kind of do what we can to hide this. No, we can't really hide it anymore. Mine put a strange foundation in there just to troll me. Feels good. And we'll put this down lower. We'll make it look like it's actually in the ground. We can kill these. There's really no purpose for them anymore. It looks like this is in the ground now. And if I can't get it to line up, then I'm not too worried about the OCD friendliness of the specific mining unit. Small compromises that we're making. Okay, there we go. So it looks like that is in there. I gotta kill this. It's actually gonna bother me if it looks elevated, so we're gonna replace it. Again, this is, these are the sacrifices that we make. Oh, let's try here. Now it's gonna look down. Snap it to you. Okay, there. It's now looking like it's mining. And what we can do here is add a little bit of flair to it. Why don't we do that? Let's let's add a little flair to it. Let's go into organization and we'll do this. Oh, it's not gonna let me do that. In that case, the flair and organization is going to be straightaways. And this straightaway is going to be eight away. Too much. There we go. We're on the ground level. There. A little bit of flare. So it looks like, so, oh, it's very dangerous. We gotta stay away from that. That's my, That's a mining unit. It's hard hat area required. <laughs> so there we go. OCD, the beginnings of the OCD uh, mining now. It took me a little longer to get there than I'd care to admit, but we got there. Let's power this puppy. Okay, power's going. And now we got to go to constructor rotators. Uh, production, constructor rotators. And, oh, I can't afford because I need plates. Let's go grab some. We have a ton up at the top. Really, I don't have plates on? No, I have plates. What am I missing? Reinforced. I need reinforced. Let me go grab some of those. Now we're grabbing this from the uh, ridiculous shenaniganery that we have going down here. Splatters. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't even know where half the stuff is located down here. Because we were rushing to do so much. So I'm going to be checking some random storage units for now. That's all I can find what I need. I might even just start making them myself. Okay, that's... We need screws. So if we follow the screw train, we might see the reinforced plates. This might be reinforced. Nope, that's encased. That's screws again. Okay, we've got screws going in here. That's the overflow of screws. Oh, mine's jumping on it. Mine's got me. Yeah, he does. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Oh, nothing in here. We don't have an overflow of it, do we? Damn. Let's upgrade that. Yeah, we don't have an overflow. He, sw he swung at me. That's the international sign for hay over here. Uh-huh. Oh, it's being used to make the modulars. Okay, you know what? Let me just hand make it then. I can hand make some. Oh, wait, no. You know what? Hang on, I'm doing this dumb. There's all the resources that I need right here that's no longer being supplied. Herp to derp 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 to derp. Why don't I just do this? I'm breaking this down. We're going to rebuild this anyway. Let's rebuild it right now. And we're going to rebuild it in style. That took me far too long to, to get to. Holy long walk for a short drink of water there, Nicholas. All right, we're gonna do chainsaw time. Let's deforest this area a little bit. These guys are awesome because they give you crude oil if you haven't gotten to that stage yet. Okay, chop it down, chop it down. I squirreled before that one got chopped. Okay, there we go, that got chopped. Gather that by hand because it's faster. Get, 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 
Gimme, 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 gimme. Cut the tree. Good to see you again too, buddy. Thank you for being here with me. Okay, right here in the center, we're gonna pop a organizational uh, walkway ramp. Boom. Come on, snap. Boop. Okay, there's our way up. And let's go to... Uh, let's go to this guy. Okay. You can see better with the lipstick taser in hand than you can a chainsaw, and it's not quite as annoying. All right. With that in place, I can feed this. And... Let me elevate this a little bit. I'm still terraforming. I picked an awkward place to put all this. That's all right. That is my end result right here. This hole right here. So the easier I can get to that as my end result, the better things are going to be. So what I'll do is I'll put a splitter. Okay, and I want to put that splitter here. Okay, that's five. Okay, now we're going to take excess up. Uh, I can rebuild that if I need to. That is a guesstimation, but it should be okay. And then we're going to run another line. Oh, yeah, that might need to go higher, actually. We're going to run another line to supply. I think it actually needs to go lower. Supply another row. Oh, oh professional parkouring. Yeah, it needs to go one lower. Otherwise, it's going to be too high. Break you. We're getting there. Up, 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 up. That should be right. And what I'm going to do here is drop a number seven. I can go further with this. We can do something nice. Put a seven here. And connect this in the center. Ah, oh, conveyor belt too long. That's what I was afraid of. Ooh, not that. Break that down. So seven here. So we're, we've reached the maximum distance of our conveyor belt, so I'll just stick to that. No sense in reinventing the wheel. Okay, boom. So now that conveyor belt is placed, and what I'm going to work on back here is some more placing of foundations. And we're going to work on another layer row. I'm probably going to have to build that higher, but what... Damn, I fell off. Damn you, gravity! My only weakness. With blade rows, it's not so bad, though. I'm going to make sure you're in the middle, so let's get up here for the bird's eye view. This is free placing. What I should have did was place these splitters first, to be perfectly honest with you. We've got a subscriber! Captain, thank you so much for subscribing! Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for coming to hang out. Oh, that's better. It's snapping to the uh, ground point now. Yes! I just have to aim at the ground and not the uh, the belt. So we we got it. Captain, thank you so much for subscribing. You dropped your Twitch Prime on Nerd Parade. That feels good. You only get one Twitch Prime per month and you deem me worthy of yours. I want to thank you for doing that, my friend. Thank you for coming to hang out with us here today. As we play Satisfactory. Okay. That's good. This is temporary. I'm going to have to pull these up. That's why I made them half season. Oh, or I'm just going to walk through it. That'll work too. Okay, so far so good. Now, if you're with me thus far, I haven't confused the crap out of you. If I have confused the crap out of you, just bear with me. You will be unconfused in a moment. So we're going to drop our sevens. These are scaffolding again. A lot of this is scaffolding. And I'm doing this just to line up the belts. I want the belts to look nice. That's a big thing of mine. Sloppy belts is no, 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 no good. No, 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 no good. No, 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 Mr. Superman. No sloppy belts allowed. So now that's there. 
First time actually catching a live stream. Well, that's awesome, my dude. Thank you for being here with me. I'm glad that you could catch us live. So now that this is done here, I'm going to replace my eight with the ramps. We're going to feng shui this up real nice. I mean, we're going to make it look really, really good. So we're going to drop. Oh, no, you're going to encroach? Really? Really? You're going to encroach? Oh, I was going to try to drop those like right in the middle, but it's going to encroach. Although that is perfectly fine, which gives me an, ooh, that gives me an idea for later. But not for now. I thought I might be able to build a rampway. If you groan, you jump higher. It's a true story. I thought I might, build, might be able to build a rampway, but it turns out that I cannot. And I'm let down. Let's deforest this a bit. I'm let down. Put our ramp right here. Just to make it easier to get up and down. Nope, we're not going to put that there then. Because it's going to look like shit. Mind is changing all the time. Alright, back to actually building. Let's destroy this. And destroy this. And holy crap, I totally lost track of time. Uh, I didn't realize the episode was going so long. Anyway, we're going to we're gonna get our constructor taters down. I got into the build mode. I got into the build zone. I don't, I'm... I'm I'm not even sorry. That's what happens. This game, you like look at the you're like I'm just gonna play for 15 minutes. And you look at the calendar and it's like Wednesday. Holy crap! How did that happen? Holding control, lining it up, finishing off the belt. Why are you not splitting? Did I screw something up with the splitter? Uh, yeah, I definitely screwed something up with the splitter, because that is not even on it. Herp. Might have to rebuild some of these belts. Might have to replace this by eye, too. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to have to do that. We're going to kill the belt and place this, this, that splitter's down. It's snapped. Okay. Ran into some splitter trouble. That's what's going on. That's fine. Now I'm realizing my the error of my ways. Break this down now. That was an unnecessary step. Yeah, all that was just practice. I did make a goof. I did make a goof. So now it's going in here. And now we want to select concrete. That's going to be going... There's our output. What I'm going to do is run an output line. Pretty much the same as what we're doing here. And then I'm going to stack if I can. May need to build this one a little higher. Now that I'm thinking, I definitely am going to have to build that higher because stacking is going to have to take place. It's one foundation, two foundation, that's three. Oh, no! Three. Okay, I still need to build this higher. At least one more foundation. But I built it wrong anyway, so that's fine. Pull you out of there. Mistakes were made. We're rectifying those mistakes right now. I'm going to make those halfsies. I like those better. For ceilings. Okay. And I can run that as... I'll duplicate it. I'll make it the same. If it, I'll make it the same as what it is right here. So let's do a half C down here. Okay, that one's scaffolding. Got a floating line. Boom. 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 Okay, so this is now duplicated to where I want it. It'll be the exact same as what we have here. It'll be going at a slight upward angle. Oh no, I'm not going to make that. That's fine. We'll work on it later. This needs to get powered, but I'm going to do my other constructor tater. Holy long walk for a short drink of water there, but we got it. Whew. We got it. 
I had the idea in my head and getting it out on paper made things didn't <laughs> it didn't come out great in the beginning but we got there so we lined that up it should go as a straight line let's just double check it yes perfect straight line lined up with the other one and we'll build from over here on this side scoop okay gimme 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 oh you're not snapping are there you go that snapped it is not lined up though it didn't snap with the other one so we got to break you down. We do have to build over here. Okay, first things first. I have the L. Do I have the L? Do I have the cyan L? Ah, there it is. Cyan L. It's when both of them, both of the lineup lines intersect and snap in the appropriate order. That is way easier to get when you do build on foundations, I might add. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. We've gone over on time a little bit. I like to keep the episodes between 45 minutes and an hour. So this is going to wrap up the first episode of our live stream this evening. Uh, we're formatting it for the friendliness on the Tubes of Yubes. So if you guys are watching on Tubes of Yubes, this is where we're going to leave you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this uh, helped you out with some of the assembly line tips and general things that we've been doing here in the Satisfactory. We're going to keep live streaming. We're going to keep going. So this is where I leave you YouTubers. We'll catch you in the next episode that we're going to roll into right now here on Twitch. But if you did like the episode, let me know in the comments or be sure to smash the thumbs up button for us. And come hang out with us on Twitch if you get the opportunity to catch a live stream. Anyway, we're going right into the next episode. Twitch viewers, don't go anywhere. 